Hi everyone, it's Petty Geeks and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kit and I do lots of videos based around lifestyle, beauty, blogging, cosplay, Disney, wedding and just about everything else. So you can really find a bit of everything here. Today though, I'm doing a highly planned video but it's taken a little bit longer than originally intended to do. Um, back in September last year, 2018, I went to Disney World for two weeks with my now fiancé and family and it was just an amazing experience and I completely intended at the time to do a full range of Disney planning videos to share some tips and advice and to talk about like some of my favourite experiences in the process of planning but in the process of saving for Disney I worked a lot and it just didn't end up working out. So you can find a link to my blog below where there are some articles about um, the processes of booking fast passes, top rides, top attractions, that kind of stuff. But for the time being I thought I would just periodically do some of the videos that I had planned to do um, maybe once a month here or there on this channel. Obviously I can only do so many because I'm currently actually not planning a Disney holiday unfortunately as much as I wish I was. So I'll just be doing the ones that I can do without physically going to Disney. Today's video is going to be, probably as you can already see from the title, a what's in my Disney park bag video. Now I felt like this would be helpful because I did a lot of research before my trip on what kind of things it would be helpful to have with me in the parks and I ended up with my partner and family thinking I'd really badly overpacked but actually so much of the stuff that was in my bag came in useful so I thought it'd be good to share with you guys the kind of stuff that I felt ended up being really helpful to have with me in the parks. So this is my trusty park bag, it's a backpack, it was from Amazon, I think it was around £30. Um, it's got, I mean it's huge, it's got a fair bit of storage, it's got this one and this one. I could have done with a few more pockets in particular, I really would have liked to have like a drinks holder on the side but it did me well and it's, it's done me good for cons and all sorts of scents so this is a really good purchase. Um, it's got really thick padded straps which I think is important for walking around the parks for hours at a time. It's got this good little pouch here, it's well padded on the back as well so it doesn't dig into you. And yeah, I just generally found this to be helpful. This has made me so low-key sad because <laughs> I've just packed up a bag for what feels like I'm going around the Disney parks, but I'm not, and it's, it's sad. <laughs> First of all, one of the things I don't actually physically have with me at the moment, but I would have in my Disney bag, is I usually have a A4 plastic wallet that I keep all of my documents in. I use this generally for traveling, traveling so I would usually have like my passport, my money, my um, boarding passes, all of that in there for traveling, but I also took it into the park so I took out all the important documents and I had any of my printed notes on it, um, a physical copy of all my fast passes and what time they were, um, a list of the food that I wanted to eat because I had so many places I wanted to try and I knew I was going to miss some, um, a list of things like how to get from each park, what transport options they are, how often they run, where they go from, which again all of this information was just invaluable on in the day. And I did have a copy of it on my phone, on my Google Drive, but I also thought it was just really helpful to have it in a hard copy in paper form in my bag so that if I run out of battery or I couldn't get connection or something went wrong, I could still access that information anytime that I needed it. First of all, I would recommend taking Ziploc bags. These things are just invaluable in the park. You can use them for so many things. You can use them to keep your souvenirs dry, to keep your autograph book dry. You can use them to store food. Honestly, that's mostly what I did because I'm a little food chubba chub and I just love any park snacks that I can get. So this is really good for like half eaten snacks and stuff. You can just put it in a Ziploc bag, put it in your backpack and keep it for later. Um, there's, there's so many things. I watched a lot of packing videos and people came up with all sorts of ideas you could use a Ziploc bag for. But honestly, I'm a big fan of just using it for snacks, if I'm honest. You could also use it to keep your, um, your phone, camera, electronics dry on water rides as well, so that's a good one to have them for. I also, for the same kind of reason, tend to carry just a carrier bag. Usually, obviously, I would have a Disney Parks bag that I would keep in there, but you know, because it only takes me a day in the parks to buy merchandise, because I'm that person. Um, but for the time being, just a carrier bag of any sort, then I don't have to pay for a park bag, or, um, I mean, obviously I will, because I'm weak. You don't have to pay for a park bag, you can also use this to keep stuff dry, or to take a change of clothes, or anything else, or if it rains, you can put it over your head. <laughs> You're real desperate. 
This is gonna make me look like a terrible hoarder, but okay. This is a laundry bag for my packing cubes. These are super useful for your backpack. Um, I take extra pairs of ears into the past. <laughs> so for the time being, I've just, I wanted to wear my Moana ones because I haven't worn those in any of my Disney fan videos as yet. But I have a different set of ears that I want to wear for a particular character I know I'm going to meet that day. Then I'll take those in there. And then I also will generally tend to take like, these are my light up ones. So if I'm going in earlier in the morning or earlier in the day wearing a specific set of ears and I, I'm also going to be seeing the parade or staying late on Main Street when it's all lit up and I'll take a pair of light up ears for the evening as well. Um, or, you know, I also have giraffe ears for Animal Kingdom, so if I'm going into Magic Kingdom in the morning in my classic mini ears and then Animal Kingdom later in the day I want, might want to put my little giraffe ones on. I'm waffling, basically I take extra ears because I'm that person and I try and keep them in a little baggy because Florida rain can come out of nowhere and you just want to keep them safe. First aid kit. So first aid kits are super important to have, even though you can go to guest services or several other points of the park at any point and get plasters, um, painkillers, anything like that you might need. But I just prefer to have those with me and amongst other things that I think guest services might not have. Um, I don't, again, I don't have everything that's on my list physically in here. So I'll just show you what I have and then tell you what else I would put in there if I had it. First of all, for the ladies, always have some period supplies with you even if you're not due on so I always have different supplies and do you know what I just always think it's like if somebody else is in crisis and you know I happen to be in the same in the ladies toilet at the same time as them or whatever I can just help somebody else out so I tend to always have those with me tea packs, mints, gum, whatever floats you like, something to sort out your breath because you're eating a lot of strong food in this environment um, along the lines of eating strong food, I always tend to take some Gamascon tablets or you can take the liquid Gamascon. Um, I take these because I just think they're quick and easy to take on the go and again you're eating a lot of strong foods, a lot of strong flavours and the last thing you want to do is be walking around with heartburn when it can really easily be dealt with. So I take some of those. This might be a bit more specific for me, these are prescription ones, you could generally get something equivalent in the over the counter. These are anti-sickness tablets, so you can get like um, travel mates, or some, there's all sorts of brands you can get that are much lower dosage than these. But I always take these because I do suffer with motion sickness, and I just want to have them there in case of emergency. If I was to go on something that really threw me off and made me feel ill, I want to be able to stay in the parks. So yeah, I just take those. And to be honest, with the Florida heat as well, it's very easy for getting nauseous, or you know, there's so many things that can make you feel ill. I just think these are really good to have with me, just in case. And obviously next you have painkillers, as you can see painkillers are very well loved in this house. So this is all I could find, but your standard paracetamol ibuprofen, I would recommend having both in your bag, just in case. Um, especially ends up handy for me because I had a really bad toothache one day in Magic Kingdom and it just was awful. I took a couple of these and managed to get it under control and stay in the park for the rest of the day, which ultimately for me is my goal. Um, this stuff I couldn't personally recommend anymore if I tried. This is a Compede anti-blister stick and it's kind of like Vaseline in a stick really but you put it on in the morning in the areas that you're more likely to rub so like the back of your ankles and if you've got shoes you specifically know feel tight when you first put them on I put it around that bit and this is a lifesaver for stopping blisters. It doesn't stop the pain if something rubs it still rubs and it's going to be sore but you won't get like the tearing skin, you won't get the raised bits, you won't get an actual physical blister. And sometimes that's just enough to help you get through the day, so absolutely recommend that. And then I always carry insect repellent, and then the other one is Bite Instinct Relief Spray. I only got this because I couldn't find the ones I usually use, they were in a multi-pack in I think Wilkinson's. Um, but the relief stuff was an absolute lifesaver because I still got bit even though I used the repellent, I had like five bites off my leg and I put this on a couple of times a day, just sprayed it on it and then rubbed it in and it just immediately stops the irritation. So I would 100% recommend getting your hand on something like this if you can. The other things I would have in here that I didn't have was blister plasters. Again, I tend to get the Compede set. They're a bit more padded. Um, if you can get an anti-chafing rub on thing, that's great. I couldn't find one that wasn't a complete rip off, so I didn't bother with that. Also instant ice packs. I don't have those in the house at the moment because we use them. Um, but I do tend to carry them with me, although I think ice packs again are something you can get from guest services should you end up needing it. 
And then the last thing was caffeine mints. So I struggle with my blood pressure. I do tend to have faints, and fortunately it wasn't a problem on this trip, but I did take with me some caffeine tablet mint things. They're like suck on sweets, but they've got the consistency of like the Gaviscon tabs. You can get them in most pharmacies, and they're good for people who are generally like diabetic. Snacks. Um, for the time being, I've just chucked that you what I have in my lunch bag during the week at the moment. But it's especially good, I mean crisps aren't that helpful, they're good as a snack, but they're not great. But to have things like, um, I've got a like a protein shot, which is really helpful, so nuts, berries, that kind of thing. Um, and to also have protein bars, cereal bars, things that will give you energy, in case you aren't kind of flagging or struggling in the park, in the heat, or in a really long queue, it's good to have those. Also, I don't have it in my bag at the moment, but carry some water with you. A refillable bottle of water is essential in the parks. Although you are able to get um, free iced water from any quick service counter in any of the parks. Particularly, we used for Starbucks because they were just easiest and you could help yourself. So, um, if you are desperate. Sun cream. Please take sun cream. Please wear sun cream. Sunburn is not fun for anyone and we all know the risks associated with having your skin out in the sun with no protection on. So, you know, take responsibility for your skin. I always wear factor 50. I know a lot of people say oh, they won't wear that because they won't tan, but at the end of the day, protecting your skin is very important. And it's horrible to be that person who has really horrendous sunburn the whole way through the holiday. So take your sun cream with you into the park, even if you put it on that morning, because in Florida heat, you will sweat it off so fast. And do it, putting on sun cream once a day is not enough. So you need to take it with you so you can top it up. So there's my little rant, my little mum moment over with wear your sun cream. My pin lanyards, it just depends which park I'm in, so I couldn't decide which one to put in the video, so I just grabbed them all. That was my Universal one, my new Disney one I got on my last trip, and then my classic Disney one I had from when I used to go as a kid, so. I do always take my lanyards with me to the park, they might be in my backpack if I'm too hot or if they're annoying me, but I generally have them with me because I do like to participate in a little bit of pin trading here and there. So I would say an autograph book and a pen, um, it's not the end of the world if you don't take a pen, most characters do have one with them on their um, cast member that's with them will have one, but I like to try and make sure I've got one, I'm always prepared, and you never know who you're going to bump into, so always take your book, always have it in your bag. Wipes, this is going to seem really weird, but I saw a video of someone recommending deodorant wipes, but they were American and I could not find a similar thing here, we don't have deodorant wipes. We do have um, Femme Fresh products and similar products that are like feminine hygiene products that are um, available in this country. They're really good. Again, we were just using them for like our armpits and that kind of thing. If you get really sweaty and you need a quick refresher in the parks because it is hot. It is so hot. Um, and specifically, I would say using the ones that are for intimate areas um, because they are um, pH balanced and you know they're designed to be used on your most intimate areas so they are definitely safe to use anywhere on your skin and they just smell nice and they're designed to deal with sweat so these are good these were a lifesaver we used these several times in the park to just kind of freshen ourselves up from we dripping with sweat and they were heaven so these are an absolute must have in my park bag nowadays okay so it's gonna sound a bit vain but i have a cosmetics bag because i tell you now the florida heat does no good for my hair my face or anything i just look like a sweaty mess so i take a little mini hairbrush, it's just one of these pop out ones that's handy that um, Carl just got for me because it was Alice in Wonderland and we were in Primark, has a little mirror in the top too and this was really handy because you might go in looking all cute in the morning for your Instagrams and you think it's a really good idea to curl your hair and have it down, it looks lovely and an hour in the Florida heat and you look like a sweaty mess and your hair is like doing its own thing in every direction, take a hairbrush you're gonna appreciate it. Either that or you're gonna get on a water ride or caught in the Florida rain and it's not a look. So take a hairbrush. I take an entire pack of bobby pins because these things you never know when they're gonna come in handy. And I take oh, stuns in here and a whole bunch of hairbands because almost every day there is a point I reach where I just have had enough and I put my hair up. So <laughs> useful to have bit balm again your 
lips are going to be so dried out and painful so keep some lip balm on you because it's hot ideally you want some with SPF in it um, it says SPF 15 but this is just my at home one I used to have a yellow Nivea one that had like more sun cream based in it and that's the stuff you ideally want mini deodorant this is Mitchum I would recommend these for some sort of really hot holidays because these are like super strong deodorants so triple odor defense I mean this stuff is killer so and you can get these wee wee little ones that fit in your bag and a body spray because again you can smell <laughs> if you're just a little bit vain you want to take a couple of nice little scrams take your lipsticks I always take lipsticks a little sponge because my foundation just is gone in no time so this is my attempt to quickly try and fix it I've got blotting papers on this list I would recommend those but I couldn't find any in time for my trip and probably really would have appreciated having those at most I would take like a brush and a powder to maybe top it up even though you really can't fight it in that heat and like a mascara and that's it a little tech bag um, and in this I just have my little tripod this I know is the most pathetic little teeny weeny tripod thing it's, it's awful honestly this I coped and you know it was usable like fortunately I have like child sized hands so it worked but I was expecting this to be like three sizes three times the size of what it was so I will be getting the Manfrotto one that I see a couple of people use next time because this mm, works but it's not ideal anyway mini tripod for go around the parks because selfie sticks are not permitted inside the parks FYI um, a couple of extra batteries, I have three in total, so I just keep these charged up. Spare memory cards, at the moment I actually have one spare, and this is a spare battery for the GoPro. I would also usually have the GoPro in here, but I... We moved house, I can't remember where I stored it, it's here somewhere, I don't know that. So I'd have my GoPro, I'd have my GoPro, you can get the yellow, like buoyancy little um, tripod things that you can screw into it. I use those if I'm using it around the park or if I'm using it on a ride because um, they're just really easy to grip onto um, and they're brilliant for the water parks because obviously if you let go of it it's not going to sink so that's what you want. So you usually have those in there as well hence why I've got a GoPro battery in there too. I take a portable charger. I was going to get a fuel rod um, because I think those are really cool that you can trade them in to keep your batteries up but honestly we have this thing I might get one on my next trip so we've got two but with this I managed pretty well this is quite a powerful portable charger just remember to take the leads that you need for it as well because a couple of days I did only take this and forgot to take my charging lead which is then useless so remember that too take a change of clothes so I just take a little pair of shorts and a really simple little spaghetti strap top because I was Disney bounding a lot of the days and although I managed quite well with that some of the outfits I knew weren't going to keep me that cool and I was worried that if it, I got too hot and felt ill I needed to have something to change into so if you are Disney bounding I would absolutely recommend just taking a really small comfortable outfit because you might just hit that point in the day where you can't stand anymore and as much as I love Disney parks they are not the cheapest place to buy clothing so you don't want to be having to buy something there for like five times the price because you weren't prepared. Also handy for if you were to, I don't know, have spill ice cream on your clothes or you know if there's a downpour and you get soaked or you get soaked on the water ride and you're just not drying off. Always handy to have an extra set of clothes so I keep that. Extra pair of socks just in case because I wear, I've got them out but I clearly didn't keep them near enough to touch. I wear the little like lace footy things that stick to your foot under my converses and things and 90% of the time are comfortable but I just keep these in case I'm getting a blister or anything I can pull these all the way up and they're much more comfortable when you're desperate so it's best socks I would also take a hoodie with you if you're driving just leave it in the car but ideally if you've got space in your backpack you want to have a hoodie with you or a sweatshirt or something um, because a lot of the shops and restaurants are air-conned and it's lovely when you first go in after sitting there for an hour you are going to get really cold so it's it's a good idea to just keep something with you for going indoors. Last but not least, I'm going to say a poncho. This is not a poncho. This is all I actually have in the house because I left mine in our villa in Florida when I went. So um, this is just my <laughs> running coat. It's the closest thing I had that looked like something like a poncho. But you definitely want a poncho because if you buy them in Disney, they are extortionate. So we just buy one from Walmart or Amazon or you know the Poundland here you can usually get them especially ones in little packets those are fantastic that come with a little 
that come with a little pouch. Um, they're handy and like I said, Florida rain comes out of nowhere and it is not messing about when it comes. Like you could swim in it. So you're gonna want a poncho if you're gonna wanna keep going around the parks and you wanna keep going around the parks and make the most of your day. So take a poncho. In my front bit, so I've got my Disney band already on. I just chose to have a magic band. I thought it was easier. And honestly, I didn't wanna be faffing with my tickets, but I also have got our tickets in a little pouch just in case I needed a hard copy of a ticket I don't know I like to be prepared I have a wallet I just keep a little wallet with um, ID and um, like a card a currency card in case I need it um, sunglasses I would recommend now if you want to take your really nice sunglasses and I did I, I love this pair they're my favorite I wore them most days in the park I wanted them for my Instagram so I took them with me it's also worth buying like a cheap pair of sunglasses. I'm not saying one you don't like, just one for like a couple of quid that you're not concerned if you lose. Um, because those are the ones if you're gonna wear them on rides, then good on you, you do it. I'm not brave enough. Um, but I bought it, my cheap pair I personally kept for the water parks because I still wanted to be able to wear sunglasses, but I didn't want to risk losing these ones. So worth also taking like a cheap like Primark pair with you for water parks and things like that. And in the front of my bag as well, I also keep hand sanitizer and tissues because I cry a lot in Disney. And the hand sanitizer, obviously, is self-explanatory. You touch a lot of things that a lot of people touch all day. The only thing I would have liked is to get one of the ones that um, has like a clip-on case so I could clip it onto the front of my bag and have it easy access. And that's probably something I'll look for next time. That's something I would recommend if you can get a hold of one, get one with a clip. Clip it to the straps of your backpack and have it accessible because you have to touch so much stuff and it's gross. Um, and I would also usually have a packet of wet wipes in the front of the bag as well. Another thing that my family thought was excessive for me to take, but we used it so much. Honestly, they were the most useful thing to have. And I went through like all of the packets of wet wipes I had by the first week. So make sure you take wet wipes. Again, you have to touch a lot of gross stuff. You have things like ice cream and in the Florida heat, it gets everywhere. You know, you just, wet wipes are just universally awesome. So get a packet of wet wipes, have it in the front of your bag. Um, okay, other things I don't have with me, but I do have on my list um, is, so blotting papers, as I mentioned, I reckon would be really useful. Magical, um, which is that spray thing that cools you off. I couldn't find that anywhere for the life of me for our trip, but I wish I had had it. Um, if you can afford to get one, a little electric fan would be awesome. I know Brogan Tate carries one that's about this big and then on the stand that looks amazing that I'm definitely going to invest in for our next trip because I literally thought I was going to melt to death a couple of times on ours. That is everything I take in my park bag. If there's anything you think I've missed or anything you take in your bag that you would recommend, please leave a comment below. We'd love to share that kind of information here. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you can, give me a thumbs up or a comment or share this with your friends or all of the above. That would be amazing. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel. I release videos every two weeks on a Thursday, usually at 7 p.m. on all sorts of topics. If you've enjoyed specifically this video and you would like to see more Disney com Disney based content, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what kind of things you enjoy from me. And until then, I'll see you next time. Bye guys!